Welcome back to the Getting Started series of Centerprise Data Integrator. In part three of the series, we are going to examine the reusability aspect of Centerprise Data Integrator. Shared on the screen is the same complex data flow that we created in sample two. In the sample, we took two sources, combined them, did some data massaging, and uh, routed them to two different destinations depending on the state attribute of the loans. And alongside, we did some data quality checks and some data profiling. If you look at it carefully, all my logic is in the middle part of the data flow, the part that I have selected. In, in many cases, user would like to reuse the logic that is once created and uh, use it in multiple places, in multiple data flows, maybe even workflows. Centerprise gives you a nice way to do that using a concept of uh, subflows. A subflow is basically a section of a, of a data flow. In this example, I have uh, taken the sources and uh, routing them to two different tables at the router. Say for example, I would like to encapsulate the logic up to the California loans, meaning I would like to take the two sources, do all this work that I'm doing in the middle, and up to the California loans router, I would like to encapsulate that into one subflow. And similarly, other subflow would be encapsulating everything up to the logic of out of state. We can do that using uh, a subflow. And let's go ahead and have a look at how we do that. We go to File, New, and create a new subflow. It's a new subflow. I can go back to my data flow complex and uh, select this entire part up to the router and uh, copy it, go back to subflow. And if I paste into it, you can see here everything that we have there in my data flow is copied into subflow up to the router loans. Now I will go ahead and uh, create a canonical output for the subflow and put that onto the right and this becomes my output. And uh, if I want to do this subflow for California loans, I will drag and drop the California loans onto subflow output. And now this subflow output will represent this entire logic. I can save it. And uh, this is how I have created this subflow. This is exactly the same thing that we saw what I was doing in subflow3.sf. You can see here, I have created the, the, uh, the entire subflow and up to California loans and California loans are mapped onto the subflow output. Similarly, I have created another sub subflow for out of state loans and uh, it looks like this, where the mapping you can see here, it is going out of this node out of state loans. So I created these two subflows and they encapsulate this entire logic. Now I will show you a sample where I'm using these subflows. So say I want to use this entire logic into a data flow. So what I'll do is I'll go to a new data flow. And uh, in this case, my source will be a subflow. And I point it to the subflow that I just created, California loans. And you can see here, as a result, I have all my attributes coming becoming source here and these are available for mapping. So this box in essence encapsulates all the logic that we have done in California loan subflow. Similarly, I can drag and drop another subflow and uh, create another source that encapsulates the logic of out of state loans. And I have all the sources available for California loans and out of state loans. Now these two are sources, I can send them to anywhere Say for example, I want to take these and in place of sending them to a database table as we did originally, we want to send them to an Excel sheet. I can drag and drop an Excel destination and uh, do the mapping here by drag and drop. And now immediately you can see here, all my California loans are going into this Excel sheet. Similarly, I can do the same thing for my outer state loans. Now you can save this data flow. And now in this data flow, in place of putting the California loans into a destination database or out of state loans into a destination database, we are sending them to two different Excel sheets using the subflow concept. 
this concludes the presentation about the subflows thanks for watching this video